We all know what a bubble is, but what if I told you the opposite is also possible? This is an anti-bubble. Let me show you how to make one. A regular bubble can be described as being a liquid shell that has gas on the inside and outside of it. And so an anti-bubble is a gas shell with liquid on the inside and outside of it. Now this is different from an air bubble underwater though, because there's no thin layer of air to make a shell. That's essentially just a pocket of air underwater. So let me show you how to make an anti-bubble. All you really need is some soapy water and a dropper of some kind. So I'm just gonna add the soap here. Look, I don't think it's an exact science to how much soap. So I'm just gonna start with that and see if it works. I'm just gonna gently mix it in. All right, then once that's mixed in, I'm gonna grab some of the same water using this dropper here. And essentially, just with a bit of force, release a drop into the water. And hopefully what we should see is an anti-bubble. Now I actually haven't tried this out yet. So I don't know if it's gonna work. But let's see, you ready? There. I think that was an anti-bubble for a sec. So this here is pretty much just um, sugar water with soap. Uh, I've put the sugar in it to make it more dense. Hopefully this could make it easier. <gasps> oh! That was really dense. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and you can see they pop immediately on the bottom. So why does adding a bit of soap let us make an anti-bubble? Well, when you drop a bit of soapy water into a jar of water, you're not just sending down the droplet, you're also dragging a thin layer of air along with it. Now normally that wouldn't last for more than a split second. That's because water has high surface tension, which means it's constantly trying to minimize its surface area. But soap changes everything. Soap is a surfactant, and surfactants weaken the bonds between water molecules, specifically the hydrogen bonds that hold them together, and that lowers the surface tension. So why does water have surface tension in the first place? Well, all molecules attract each other and they like to be surrounded on all sides by similar molecules. In the middle of a liquid, that's exactly what they get. But at the surface, molecules don't have neighbors above them, only beside and below. That imbalance leaves them in a higher energy state and they respond by pulling inward, trying to reduce the surface area which reduces the energy because lower energy is preferred as it will make things more stable. And so imagine standing in a packed crowd. In the middle, people are pressing on you from all sides. You're stable, but stand on the edge and suddenly you're exposed, being pulled unevenly. You feel less stable. And that's the same kind of imbalance that surface molecules feel. Now here's where soap helps. Each soap molecule has two ends. One is hydrophilic, which means it loves water, and the other is hydrophobic, which means it hates water. And so when soap gathers at the surface, the hydrophilic ends stick to the water and the hydrophobic ends stick out into the air. And this gives those surface molecules something to bond with, almost like they're not at the edge anymore, and it lowers their energy, which reduces surface tension. So back to the anti-bubble. When the soapy droplets sink, it brings down a thin air shell. And now that surface tension is reduced, that air layer can stay intact for a short while. It doesn't collapse instantly because the forces that would normally pop it are now weaker. And you can picture it like this, a water droplet wrapped in a thin skin of air with soap molecules lining the inside and outside of that air shell. Their water-hating tails face the air, which actually helps stabilize the gap. Not because the tails repel each other, but because they help keep water from rushing in and closing the gap too quickly. It won't last forever though, the air will eventually leak out or the shell will collapse, 
but for a few seconds you get this weird inside out bubble, the anti-bubble. Well, that was a bit of a mouthful. I hope you learned something new about surface tension and why soap reduces that surface tension. I also hope you found the anti-bubble really cool. But that just about does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.